Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. Uh, in today's session, we will uh, try to learn the new tool called Power BI Helper tool. Let's see how this Power BI Helper will help the Power BI developers. So. This is actually an external tool, Power BI Helper. So why we have to use this tool and what is the input to this tool? What all this tool can perform? Let's see one by one. So now this is an external tool for Power BI Desktop. So using this tool, we can explore. Let's take in our Power BI report, we have created the report using multiple data sources. And you, we have uh, implemented some model there. We have re, uh, used some DAX queries, DAX functions. We have written calculated columns, measures, everything. Right now, what this tool does is when we input our Power BI file, that is the PBX file, this will help us to explore uh, the data sources. What all the sources we have uh, used in our file, in our report, and the Power Query script as well and the data model also it will analyze and even the DAX expressions, everything it will analyze, okay? And it, it will be helpful for us to create even the document as well. In a documented format, we will get the complete metadata of our file. Means what kind of model we have implemented, Power Query scripts, everything, okay? So this will help us to create the Power BI document as well, which can be used as a report catalog. So this is how it looks the document with all the metadata exported. Next, coming to the cleaning portion of Power BI and the models, right? So in, in the file, right, the data model can be messy as well. It may not be proper. And in our report also, we will load the table and we would have used some columns in our visuals and in our DAX functions and we would not have used some columns at all, though we have imported that into our Power BI file, right? So this helper tool will help us to identify what all the fields, this is how it looks. It will analyze our model and it will try to identify what all the fields which we have not used, what uh, what all the calculations we have performed and which fields we did not use and it will clean them up and it will have as a better data model ready. So this all this will tool will help us to do this and coming to the performance tuning. This is very, very important, right? Uh, if the report is slow, the rendering time is slow it will be difficult for the users who are using the report. So if the Power BI's are uh, taking time and the performance is slow because of large size of the file, large data model, so this will help us to give some best practices. So this tool will significantly analyze it and it will try to performance, uh, improve the performance and tune the model by removing the heavy and not required columns. And mod modeling, coming to the modeling and visualization of the metadata, it will understand how many visuals are created in each page, what fields we have used in the particular visualization, in the particular bookmark, what we have used, what we have not used. So all this metadata of our tables, our calculations, DAX expressions, everything it will give the properly in this hierarchical structure format. And coming to the Power BI service, okay, in this, as an organization, the organization will have multiple workspaces, right? Multiple projects, multiple workspaces. And in each workspace, there will be multiple reports, data sets, and ads. So now for all of this, if we want to see in each workspace as a higher level management, how many workspaces are there? And in each workspace, how many reports are there? What are those reports? What are the data sets? So all this metadata we can get from this Power BI helper tool. It will only fetch this. How many workspaces, apps, dashboards, reports, gateways, everything it will provide the metadata. And let's take we do have two different Power BI files means same report, maybe the different version version or some report where we have done some changes, right? Or development report, the, uh, the report in the development workspace uh, with the dev report in the production workspace. 
two different PBI file, it will compare and it will give the detailed comparison result of visualizations, whatever the power query scripts, as well as each report level, what all the measures we have used. So this is like one stop uh, solution for the developers and even for the architecture managers to see high level details as well and also for better performance and for uh, eliminating the unwanted columns or improve the performance of the model documentation and for all these things we can use this power bi helper tool which is an external tool so how you can get this tool so from the power bi itself if you go to the external tools right if you open your power bi under the help you can click on external tools and from there you can install or you can just download from the google power bi helper free download you will be able to download just you will download like this helper download you will download the latest version so once you download this tool power bi helper tool the input to this will be the report that is in the pbix format Hope this will be useful to you. Thank you for watching this. Have a great day.